Hi everyone, it's Nathan from uh, Japan Nut here. Uh, just a quick overview of the new DI2 DFly setup that I'm going to be installing. Uh, what I've currently got now is the older setup with the DFly, which only supports Ant Plus, not the Bluetooth. And um, it runs on the SMBTR2 battery, along with this little bugger here, the um, SMEWW01. Now, the issue that I've got is I've got a second bike. I've got two bikes over here, and one has a D-Fly, one doesn't. They both have DI2. And so what I wanted to do was add another one of these modules on so I could see the display on my Garmin, get the battery status and whatnot. However, they don't sell these anymore, so you've got to go and buy the new wireless unit. Um, however, the new wireless unit isn't compatible with the older SM... BRM2 or BTR2 so you've actually in effect got to buy the new battery as well so just a quick overview on that the what I've had to buy I've had to buy this new the new wireless unit which now supports Bluetooth that's him there and the new battery as well the BT DN110 I don't know why there's a dash 1 and a dash 2 and a dash 3 but uh, I'll let you figure that out. Um, that can either go in your seat tube or in the lappy air bikes. It goes in a little holder and gets inserted down near the bottom bracket. And you'll need a piece of wire as well. Um, the existing one I've got was a 150, but I'm going to transfer that over to the other bike, so I'll use it on the other bike. But uh, Bike Bug only had a 200 million stock, so I took that. They're all the same price. It's actually the smaller you go down in length, the more expensive they seem to get. But anyway, this is the new uh, battery setup here. So um, I've just got the, the new unit here, which um, you can see on the bottom. There's a few different markings there as well, probably because of the Bluetooth now. So this is AMP Plus and Bluetooth, uh, the 200 mil wire, as well as the new battery here as well. So they look setups look exactly the same except for the model numbers but the new battery does support um, does support the um, synchro shift functionality as well as the bluetooth apparently it's got a bit more circuitry in there to do that so anyway all i'm going to do now really is just uh, replace this battery into the holder and then once i've put it in the holder i'll just insert it into the um into the bottom bracket area here and uh bob's your uncle Anyway, cheers. So now I've just got the um, D-Fly sensor here and the new battery in the good old lappy air holder. And um, all I'm going to do now is just insert that down to the um, bottom bracket area here. So I'll just insert him in there and push him down. And then after that, I'll just um, get the battery in, like so. And that's it, all installed, ready to roll. So I've just installed the new sensor. And without doing any software upgrades or anything, um, it's working straight off the bat, um, both front, front and rear, no dramas at all. Um, the Garmin's also picked it up as well, so I'm just going to tick the box and add that sensor there, and that's um, it's all added in now, all good. I won't set up the DI2 buttons because I think that's referring to the um, Durace ones on the hoods, which I haven't got. I've only got the Altegra set up. And looks like I've got to charge a new battery as well. Better do that before the race tomorrow.
Yeah, I think that's referring to the Jurace button. So I'll just leave that at the moment. So yeah, that was flawless. Adding that one in, no dramas at all. I guess the uh, next thing to do now is to get onto the phone and see if I can connect and um, set up the synchro shift. Apparently if you hold down this button for five seconds on here, it should go into a, a certain mode. So that's, it's, have, it's gone into the shift modes now, but um, I think that's something I'm going to have to configure over the Bluetooth. So um, I tried using um, the Bluetooth connection mode, however it didn't work, so I thought the system might need an update, so I've uh, connected that up into the junction box on the handlebars there. And I've went through and it's had to do a few different downloads, so I've um, done the updates and it seems to have recognised everything that I've got on there, including the, uh, the new battery and the new wireless unit. So it looks like we're all good in that regard. So it looks like it's just wants to update the firmware again. I thought it already did, but it's flashing, so there's a new firmware for the unit. It cannot be updated. Update it via the mobile edition. So it looks like somehow we've got to update it via the mobile edition. Okay. Well, anyway, if we can't get that to work, we'll do that way. But we'll update the rest. It's saying we've got three minutes or so remaining. So I've updated the firmware for all the modules and the components, and the Bluetooth module requires to be updated from the phone or the tablet. You can't do it from the PC, but everything else can be updated um, from the PC. So I've, I've done all that, and now that I've upgraded the firmware, when you hold down here for a couple of seconds, you'll get these lights flashing, and that uh, tells you you're in the Bluetooth connection mode, and you can connect up with your phone and adjust settings, such as uh, synchronized shifting, uh, which shifters you want to use, etc. And you can see on the Garmin here, I've got a DI2 shift mode screen set up as well. So you can um, actually change via this little junction box the shift mode that you want to be in with a double click of the button underneath. So you double click it and the Garmin will change. So we're in manual, double click again. We'll go to synchronous shift one and then double click again with a full synchronous shift Oh, sorry, the S1 was semi-synchronous and S2 is full synchronous. So just, just to give you an idea of what this means is that you can use just the right-hand shifter or I can use this um, shifter up here, the remote satellite shifter, to go through all the gears on the cassette based on what you want to um, predefine in the settings sheet. So I'll just give you a quick look at that. And that's it.